Have you ever wondered if there's a place where the poor, the lonely, and the disabled can go to mix with Middle America and become friends because they have something in common? Well, the Off Center Art Studio in Albuquerque, New Mexico is just the place. Here the art supplies are free, the company is good, and the artwork is beautiful. Off Center Art Studio in downtown Albuquerque, New Mexico is a place brimming with crafters and artists. Rob Green is the executive director of Off Center Art. He says that people of all income levels frequent this studio, not just to make artwork, but something more important. We're just here every day to be who we are, I mean, as, as authentically as we can be, and just be generous and open to them. And so we, you know, I could point out a number of people, I know their stories because they come frequently, and, and they're incredible life stories. I mean, everybody has their story. Uh, there's often more tragic, uh, uh, more of the bad things happening in their life. A lot of things stem from low income, and those, you know, the uh, environment of low income breeds a lot of problems, as I think is pretty well established. But, um, also, you know, soldiers back from war trauma, it's usually everybody's been traumatized, and this is a place to come and to heal from the trauma, really. And that's why the people from the uh, well-to-do as well as the, you know, the down and out come. It doesn't matter if you're wealthy or not. <laughs> you're gonna have life trauma and you're gonna have a, uh, you may be isolated and lonely and you need a creative self-identity boost. And uh, somebody may tell you about this place and you come in and like I said, you may come with charity in mind and find that you're a recipient and you're growing as much from the environment. And uh, that's very nurturing and healing and leveling. It's a very stabilizing effect, kind of the tonic that we offer. So. Breen says it's the mixing of the community members that helps break down social isolation and stigmas. We have 70% of the people who come here are low income or below, and 60% are uh, in poverty. The other 30% are into median income and above. And that's a mixing grounds where uh, at any given time, uh, because our identity is artists, uh, we don't go into the fact that you may have slept under the bridge last night and, or you may have driven down from a very nice life and lifestyle up in the heights that day. <laughs> you came to make cards and you're sitting next to the guy who slept under the bridge. We're all creating it and, uh, as artists that day and the common thing is again breaking isolation, finding that creative self-identity and obviously a willingness to explore and meet new people in the community that you never would have. You may come to help, but you may find you're being helped by that person. <laughs> you may have thought at the beginning of the day, I'm going to go help those guys, and at the end of the day, you might be getting some, you know, some uh, coaching from a, an artist, or you've met somebody new, and now you see this person totally different than you would the guy walking down the street with a pack. You may just know that person now is Frank or, or Jesse or something like that. <laughs> Children happily express their talents, while at other tables, there's original Aztec artwork being painted and Native American art being woven. Just beside this table, a group from a community adult daycare center works with clocks and painting. Everyone is engaged in their art, but everyone is socializing too. Mata is an Aztec native of El Salvador. She's been making this type of artwork for most of her life. Since I was a kid, I goes in thirds. I pass them through tradition. Every eight spokes. It reminds us who we are, where we come from, the elements of why we make them. Uh, the power life of the two major corn, blue and white corn. So that's the deity of the corn god. Marge Pettit has a different story to tell than most people. Twenty years ago, she walked out of her upscale home and a husband she describes as abusive. Her journey in being homeless has taken her many places, but she hasn't given up. Off-Center Art helps her produce artwork to sell. I started sleeping on the cold ground and the wet ground, and so I called my mom. I'm 56 years old, and I said, Mom, i got to come home. So I got back to Albuquerque. I was pretty broken. I was pretty beat down. And then uh, I rested for a couple of weeks and then I just started running. I started going to women's art programs, started going to different galleries. I've done I don't know how many shows. And then three times people told me you gotta go check out off, off Center. So that's why I ended up here. And so I just take the materials and create things and then I go out there and turn them around and uh, 
and I just put a, had someone actually out of their kindness put a deposit on an apartment for me. So I'm looking for two roommates just so I can afford it because I got no income. But I know it's my time. And so I'm just, I'm loving it. I'm loving what I'm doing. I'm loving who I am. And it would be like a joke if I wasn't this amazing, phenomenal artist, which I am. Breen calls Off Center Art Studio a community home place. The studio has a large gallery with dozens of one-of-a-kind artwork at reasonable prices. As beautiful as the art is, so too are the smiles on the artist's faces. Art therapy, giving the homeless, the low-income population, and the socially isolated a sense of purpose and community, bringing them back to life again. In Albuquerque, New Mexico, this is Kathleen Rush Hall.